Hello, my dear friends. I am Jyotirvid Pavan Kumar. Almost every day when I meet people, go out, I hear one or two people talking about luck. Somebody is saying, I have very bad luck. I am trying for so long, but there is no success. And then I hear someone saying, Oh, that person, look at that person, he is, he is very lucky. He has got a big, good Bangalore and a big car and all that. And he has earned so much and, you know, he must be very lucky. Then, I, when I sit in silence, I laugh. You will never find me using this word luck. This word luck doesn't exist in my vocabulary. Why? Because since long I understood the purpose of life, the purpose of each one of us. What is our role? Why God has created this world? So if you will understand, then this word luck will not exist in your vocabulary. Now, let me explain you a little bit using this coin. This is a coin and we all know it has two sides, head and tail. But now, let us try to understand the reality, the truth. See, this side which is towards you, you may consider this as the worldly life. life as it exists in this world, all human beings, some are rich, some are poor, in different conditions, and people have different desires, they are, you know, from morning till evening, they are doing their business, doing their jobs, and trying to realize their dreams, this is all worldly life. But then, this hidden side, which is behind, that is truth, that is reality. Now, try to understand, in spiritual sense, truth is which never dies, which never changes. Anything which never changes is truth. And this life, we all know, it is temporary, it is not for eternal. And also, if there is a beggar today, a beggar can rise and become a prince, not actual prince, but a very wealthy person, that's what I mean. And there are so many examples in this world, this happens. And if there is a prince today, a very rich person, can be beggar tomorrow. Such examples are also there people who lost everything, they lost all their wealth. Reason could be different, but this happens. So all these things happening here are temporary for certain years, for certain time, but not eternal. But the life here, now this is the place, astral world, this is the place which is hidden from normal sight. This is the place where we have come from, where we will proceed to after the death of this physical body. The real entity which is controlling this physical body is life eternal, like my this motto, logo behind me, life eternal. The person now this vocal cord, voice box, this is this belongs to this physical body. But the voice which is coming and this these good thoughts, they're coming from a source which never dies. Okay? So it is life eternal. So all this life is hidden from this worldly life. And there is a curtain. This coin itself is a curtain curtain of deception, we in Sanskrit call Maya, 
माया का पर्दा कटन ऑफ डिसेप्शन दिस इज क्रिएटेड सो दैट दीज टू वर्ड्स कैरी ऑन दियर जॉब ऑन इंटरप्टेड दैट इज अ पर्पज एंड इफ वन राइज इज अब द लो ह्यूमन स्टेचर टू सुपर ह्यूमन लेवल then this curtain falls and the person will know that is self realization then you come to know the reality the truth of life why this life is created what is our purpose why we are here so we are here for evolution to learn and to evolve so my dear friends i sometimes laugh because in my vocabulary this world luck doesn't exist you will never hear from me saying that i am lucky or my luck is bad or my luck is good because i have understood that luck there is no, no concept of luck we are the creator of destiny see if i am passing through bad conditions there could be two reasons one i have done something terribly wrong in previous lives so i have restricted my opportunities restricted my capabilities and that is causing trouble and i am facing troubles because of that but that is just it could be just part of it but mostly it is not karma it is the conditions we ourselves before taking birth we selected the conditions keeping in mind the experiences we wanted from life if a person wants experience of riches then the person is going to be born in a rich family or may take birth in a uh, in poor conditions but he has already selected some conditions planetary conditions that the person will rise and become wealthy in very short time because the person has to have experience of riches now wealth is given more than you require abundance abundant wealth is given to a person because the nature wants to see whether that person is selfish and just keeps it his or her wealth for himself or herself or whether that person tries to uplift the lives of others those who are not as privileged as that person is so that is the reason why abundance of wealth is given so if that person has to have experience of poverty then conditions are chosen selected pre selected so that the person is always in deficit in conditions poor conditions and it is very very hard for that person to come out of those conditions because that person selected those conditions has to have experience of those conditions because it is irony of life that no one learns in comfort and luxury one learns hard lessons of life only through suffering so my dear friends if you try to understand the true purpose of life why god has created this world why we have come here in this three dimensional world which is considered the world of sorrows because very very hard experiences are here they are meant to teach us certain things so if you understand all this then you will be able to lift this curtain of deception this curtain of maya and you will be able to look on the other side 
that will be a turning point that is self realization which can come through deep study spiritual study breathing exercises pranayama must meditation etc so you have to change your lifestyle if you want to rise to superhuman level then this world luck you will discard it from your vocabulary there is no such word as luck you are the master of your destiny i hope you like this video if you have any comments or questions regarding the topic of this video you are most welcome thank you for watching